everyone is hyped because of this game. Fall Guys. <laughs> they look like Tic Tacs. Hello and welcome to a regular tutorial where we will use some Tic Tacs to create the Fall Guys characters. I haven't played the game yet, so please be patient with me and with what I am saying because I have no clue at all. But that shouldn't stop me from creating the Fall Guys in today's video with some Tic Tacs. Well, I've watched some gameplay and I remember the good old times when I watched Takeshi's Castle. I loved this show so much. I think we played a lot Takeshi's Castle with my friends years and years ago. <laughs> we created some parkours in the forest and there was a tiny river. So we made all the different challenges which we saw on Takeshi's Castle. <sighs> beautiful time <laughs> and now we have this game um, where you are playing as one of these guys one of these fall guys which are really looking quite dumb and um, <laughs> no offense you try to conquer all the different challenges and struggles to survive as the last person on the different courses I think it's still defined as a battle royale. Well, this is the sports guy, our beautiful jelly bean. Oh, I could have used jelly beans instead of Tic Tacs. It would have made it probably a little bit easier because jelly beans are bigger. But here we go, creating the Fall Guys with Tic Tacs. <clears throat> so he gets some um, sports bands and these beautiful shoes the sport shoes so tiny and we're ready to go to the oven next one <laughs> okay we start quite easy we paint some eyes and then we make a mixture out of ochre and orange and um, yeah, <laughs> you can probably already guess which of the Fall Guys this will be. Now adding some feathers to this guy. <laughs> it looks so ridiculous. <laughs> I, I got to talk about that. If you like what I am doing right now and as we have some very very tiny Fall Guys then I would really really love to see a tiny parkour I'm creating with clay and my tiny Fall Guys I have to face some different challenges and we could all do it with clay but I need your help. So if you think this is a good idea putting my tiny fall guys out of clay onto some tracks, some fall guys maps. <laughs> I need your help as I don't know the game. Write down in the comments what they should conquer, which maps they should face. There is one with some, it's not lava, it's, I've seen that, it's, it's some, some green slime coming from the ground, floating up. Was it called Slime Climb? I think so. I love this one. I'm, I'm getting quite hungry right now. Mmm, freshly baked french fries. <laughs> so after oven hardening, we're adding some details. In general, I try to create all these crazy details with clay. But there were some details like the eyes, for example, or later on the pirate um, where I decided to paint them afterwards because it would have been just too tiny and too crazy. This is one of my most favorite ones. It's the raptor skin here in Fall Guys. Are they called? They are called skins, right? I am associating 
skins always with Fortnite. I can't help me. <laughs> Look at that guy adding the thumbs and also the nails to his hands. And now the teeth and eyes with the tiny, tiny iris. Yeah, this is my favorite one. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I'll I'll build him on a bigger scale as well. Next one, painting the eyes, and you can already guess which guy this will be. Well, no, now you know, or now, now you know. <laughs> it's the pineapple. Also one of the most unique ones. I really love that one. And I'm always happy when I see someone playing as the pineapple. <laughs> we have three different kinds of green and we are creating this grass, this bush going on the top, adding some more leaves. Careful with that, looks so beautiful. <laughs> Freshly baked pineapple fall guy! I'm using a pen to get um, some texture in and to make the structure a little, a little bit more visible. Next one, I mixed this quite bright blue and I am cutting a hole right in where the face will be. Adding some golden clay with brown and some black. And you can already guess which fall guy this will be. We have the belt. Arr. Now you know. We have the belt buckle and also a vest which goes around with this brown goldish clay color. The good thing about the scale is you can create as many fall guys as you'd like to uh, when you have just one piece of clay. <laughs> Yeah, while um, finishing this video, I was already working on the next project and hopefully you'll get a second video for this weekend or on Monday, I'm still not sure, about Black Panther. I got all your requests, of course. Now it's going to be quite difficult adding this tiny symbol, the skull, on the head of the pirate. <laughs> We are ready to go into the oven. <laughs> Freshly baked pirates! Arr! <laughs> Painting the eye and also the broken eye with his blindfold, one sided blindfold. Adding some details. We have some stripes on the trousers. And well, we are almost done with nine fall guys. Because the last three ones, I really wanted to have some dummy fall guys I can do some experiments with in the future. <laughs> so these will be finished very quickly. Oops, now we will add the face as well. <laughs> this video was quite nice, I hope you enjoyed it. That's it! The fall guys! Sports guy, pineapple, dinosaur! French fries, uh, pirates, some colors, and the chicken! I hope you enjoyed the video creating tiny, tiny fall guys with from Tic Tacs. Let me know if you want to see more stuff from the game, maybe a landscape. Write it down in the comments. Have a great week, have a great weekend. Take care, guys. Bye! Oh no. Ugh. <sighs>